All right, hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you two techniques for quickly auto rigging your characters. The first is going to be using Maya Quick Rig, and the second one will be using Adobe Mixamo. And both are completely free and don't require any plugins and are just made to just quickly rig and pose your characters. All right, so let's just get right into it. Here you can see I have my fully modded character and everything's ready to go. He's unwrapped, he's got good topology, topology for deformation, and now we can begin the auto rig process. So what we wanna do is switch our tabs over to rigging, and then we wanna go over here to the top menu. You wanna to go to the top where it says skeleton and quick rig, and then open up the quick rig tab, and you can see that we have this. All right, so we have human IK. I'm actually gonna dock this with the attribute editor here, just to give myself some more room. And with the quick rig here, we can select our character and you can go ahead and do a create new character. So go ahead and do that. And then we've added the character to the quick rig uh, tool set. Then you can do one of two things. You can do one, which is auto rig and let that run. And it doesn't take all that long, but I'll pause real quick. And with the auto rig, it just goes ahead and does it. Now it's not perfect. But if we go ahead and kind of see um, what happened or what it did, if I go ahead and kind of move some things around, you can see that it does a halfway decent job uh, on the character, except it completely messed up where the elbow is, um, which is no big deal. And then here you can kind of see the knees a little bit high. So I typically don't use auto rig. Um, so I'm going to undo that by going ahead and hitting the trash icon and you can just hit, are you sure you want to delete the following objects? Just hit okay. So there, now we're back to the beginning and we can select our character again, but this time we want to do step by step. All right, so we want to select that. And since I trashed the previous quick rig, we want to add our group to this and we want to add the geometry. So it's step by step, but it's still very quick. So I can go ahead and add selected meshes. So I just select the group and it adds all the meshes inside of my group, which is just broken up by hair, group, shirt, shorts, and, and whatnot. The next thing I wanna do is go to uh, the guides once you've added your geometry, and we can go ahead and do that by just hitting create. Once we've created the guides, you can see that they show up here. So you wanna just use these and kind of place these in position. So here is, to, is gonna be your clavicle. We can maybe move that up a little bit higher here. We have the shoulder, which is gonna be here. Um, you know, so we can maybe move these as needed. All right. And here's where we definitely need to make some adjustments. Here's the elbow. We can move that into center position there, which is looking good. We can select the wrist here and that's going to be just kind of located there and that's looking good so we can position that and we can go ahead and you can see the knee was a little high like i said so we can move the knee there great here's the foot ankle needs to be up a little bit higher here and maybe drop this foot down so you can see where things are at and we have this guide here and I want to drop this. I mean, this is going to be essentially the groined area. So we can move that and the spine. Okay, we can kind of space these out a bit here. All right, so once you do that, you of course can just say copy right over to left or in this case, the characters left over to the right. And the way that you want to do that is just select all of your guides here and hit mirror from uh, left to right. And then it goes ahead and copies that over. So you only have to do one side. So just make sure that you have the right one selected. Obviously anything on the line of symmetry, which is a spine, can stay where it wants or where it needs to. Once we have that, we go ahead now to the skeleton. So we've added the geometry, we've positioned, created and moved the guides, mirrored them over. Now let's create the skeleton. So we go ahead, create the skeleton, and there it goes. So just double check that everything looks good here. We can see that the hips are right about where the hips are. The elbows are right where the elbow should be. The wrist is where the wrist should be. Same thing with the shoulder and the clavicle. Everything's looking pretty good. Neck is solid. 
So I'm happy with that. Let's just keep moving. Then, I mean, right now, obviously, it's just a skeleton. So we need to bind it. So let's go ahead and use just the default binding method and go ahead and create. And let that run. And this part typically takes the longest, but not that long. And there we are. So we go ahead and you can see that we have the character moving and synced up and it's pretty good. I mean, this auto rig tool is very impressive. You can see how this is working and I'm overall really happy with this result. Now, I'm not a rigging specialist or anything like that, but I create characters, teach how to model characters. I use this all the time for quick rigging and posing, uh, and it's just one of the two tools I'll be showing you today. So now one thing drawback is there is no fingers. So uh, I'll link a tutorial down at the bottom. Autodesk actually covers that in detail on how to add fingers. So um, since I, don't ha I haven't had a chance to make that tutorial, I'll at least link you guys uh, direction there. Okay, so that's quick rig at a very quick high level. So let's jump over to Mixamo. So here I am, and I'm just gonna continue our reset and just go back to that clean scene. Now, what I wanna do is first load up Mixamo. And to get to Mixamo, just open up a web browser, type in mixamo.com and log in. Now it's sign up, you can sign up for free. So I'll go ahead and just log in since I have existing credentials. And now that I'm locked in, I just wanna go ahead and upload a character. So here's the key thing. When you're exporting your character, you have to make sure to select the top character, the group, and then go to export selection. And then we wanna go ahead and export this as an FBX. Now, the key thing is if this is, you know, the default preset, you wanna scroll down to advanced options do FBX file format and make sure to use 2014, 2015 or older, maybe 2013 if uh, if you need to. But 2014, 15 is what Adobe Mixamo uses. And if you try to use 2020 or anything newer than that, it's gonna give you errors. So we can call this, you know, character hammer boy and export this out. And once we do that, I'll go ahead and add it to my scenes folder. And then we're gonna go to Mixamo, and I'm just gonna simply drag this over from Windows into Mixamo. So I'll drag this over and drop that in there and move this out of the way and let it process for a second. And just like my quick rig, once this loads in, it's essentially gonna ask us for guides. And these guides are what's gonna be used to auto rig the character. So it's just saying, is this character modeled in a T pose and is he facing the right direction? Everything looks good. Cause otherwise like, oh, whoops, he's upside down or he's, he's whatever. Well, just make sure to put him in the right orientation and you're ready to go. Hit next. Now we want to do chin and just move these to, you know, where they need to go. We want to do wrists. You can see that it's also working with symmetry. We got the wrists right about there at the center line. We got elbows here. We can see the elbows looking right about there. That should be fine. Maybe drop it just a little bit. We got the knees here. So they're pretty easy to tell. Everything's good. And then groin is right about here. All right. So you can see and use this as a guide. It's pretty straightforward, especially if you did the auto rig one and you want to see which one works better uh, or the quick rig one, I should say. So once you do that, hit next, and it's gonna go through and do its thing. So I'm gonna pause real quick, and there we go. So here's our character, and you can see he's got finger animation, head animation, um, or I mean, he's moving his head. It doesn't have facial animation, but everything looks okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next, and this is just asking me, your 3D character has been uploaded, proceed with this new character. I just was messing, or I was just running through this before this demo, uh, and it was just saying, hey, do you wanna overwrite uh, the previous one? So no problems there. But if this is your first time, you won't have that issue. But uh, okay, yeah, and here's what's pretty cool, is now you can run through all these preset animations. You can also do this with Maya and the uh, human IK and the, and the rigging tool, but uh, you can just start to take a look and you know, see how this character looks. 
All right. You can, of course, there's a lot of settings here. Um, if you're if you're ha happy with it. Uh, or you can change them, trim the animation. Um, you know, you can look at combat animation. Um, you know, if like he's got a hammer and he's getting damaged and or holding a weapon, you know, taunting. A lot of, a lot of cool stuff that you can look at. Uh, and if you're, you know, doing a quick thing where, let's say... We have something like, you know, something silly like that with the, the pose or let me find something here real quick. Cool. So let's find, let's use this, this happy idol. So I just searched for idol. Um, his arms are clipping quite a bit. So you can increase character arm space there and it kind of fixes that issue. And overdrive uh, just means to slow it down or speed it up and then we can trim it. But I like this and then you can simply hit download. And I'll download FBX with skin, 30 frames, everything else looks good. Just default, let that download. All right, it downloaded and I have this new FBX and I'm just gonna grab Happy Idol and drag that into a clean scene of Maya and let it go and do its thing. And here we are. So you can see if I go ahead and play the animation, we now have this and we have our idol pose. Now, what's nice about this is even though it's not a full blown rig with control objects and helper objects, you can still bring it in here and position it. It is using just, I mean, it's a simple rig, so you can just do FK controls and move his hands um, up and around and select his fingers and um, do whatever that you uh, would, would want to do to pose this. But, you know, if I like select hierarchy here on this finger and then rotate, you can see I can move this finger up and around. So there is a little bit of control in here and works really great when you're just trying to quickly pose your character. Um, but all in all, hopefully you found this helpful. So again, a quick high level look at using the quick rig tool in Maya and using Adobe Mixamo for quickly posing and rigging your characters. All right. If you found this helpful, uh, appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, uh, and above all, stay safe. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Take care, everyone.